Methane is super potent. It's making the Earth hotter at an even faster rate than carbon emissions. For example, one kilogram of methane pollution warms the climate more than 80 times as much as one kilogram of carbon dioxide pollution when we look over the next 20 years. The oil and gas industry is responsible for 23% of global methane emissions, making it one of the highest emitting industries of the global economy. It's a fact. Dramatically reducing those emissions is one of the easiest and cheapest ways to slow the rate of global warming. While we work towards decarbonizing our energy system, almost every model shows that fossil fuels will continue to play a role in providing energy in the near future. We cannot keep Earth's temperature below our climate targets without deep cuts to both methane and CO2. By using proven mitigation practices, we could reduce methane emissions from the oil and gas sector by more than 70% this decade. When companies extract oil and gas and deliver it to customers, methane is emitted along the entire supply chain. Methane is intentionally and unintentionally released from equipment at oil and gas wells, production and processing facilities, transmission and storage sites, pipelines, power plants, city distribution grids, and even home appliances. The good news is detecting methane is pretty straightforward. There's modern technology like handheld cameras and sensors that help detect methane leaks on the ground and innovative and emerging technologies mounted on satellites, airplanes, drones, and cars that can detect these leaks remotely. The challenge is that the oil and gas industry is largely unregulated and isn't required to invest in the technology necessary to prevent emissions. The right public policies can help us achieve deep emissions reductions at a rate appropriate for the need and scale of the climate challenge. These policies are simple and include Requiring companies to regularly monitor their facilities to find and repair leaks quickly. Banning the practices of flaring and venting, where large amounts of gas are burned off or released into the atmosphere. And finally, requiring companies to use modern equipment that doesn't let gas escape into the atmosphere is another crucial piece to solving the climate challenge. Countries with significant fossil fuel production must implement strong standards to limit methane emissions across the supply chain. They could also impose fees on companies that do not properly control their methane pollution. Large buyers of fossil fuels can drive these changes by setting strict import standards to push nations that produce oil and gas to accelerate cleanup of their systems. We need to act quickly with strong regulations and strict enforcement to clean up the oil and gas industry and work towards transitioning our energy system to lower carbon technologies and reduce local air pollution and toxic emissions around the globe.